Hey guys, Red Eye Gaijin here. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about something called intrapreneurship in Japan. So, let's say uh, you've you've made your way over to Japan. You've scored a job. Uh, for many of you, it will be as an English teacher. Um, for some of some of you, it will be um, you know a, a different sort of profession. And um, you've got into the job, um, say three months have passed and you feel pretty comfortable. And um, what you want to do now is start to think about how you could possibly accelerate your career. So what can you do to, um, you know, take that extra step? And, and I, I think um, you'll see a lot of videos out there particularly uh, from YouTubers like um, uh, Tikio Sam and um, Unrested who are talking a lot about how to get out of um, you know the English teaching world and um, you know to get out of the, um, the, the, the system which is pretty restrictive and, and basically um, you know, it, it is very difficult to to you know get out of the the Aikawa teacher scene and and actually move up, uh, move your career forward. And so, uh, something I wanted to talk about is you know the possibilities of doing that without actually leaving the industry. Uh, so staying within potentially the same company, but um, but actually getting out of the of a strictly English teaching job. So, um, I, I guess the first thing you have to do is make sure you do the job that you're paid to do well. So, uh, staying on top of things, um, turning up early, um, making sure that you are actually teaching students in a way that they are happy with and in a way that they are learning. So um, try all different lesson plans, get tips from teachers who seem to be successful and popular. Um, but uh, the, other, the other thing to do is once you already are successful uh, in, in meeting those um, demands that, it, that you know, are within your job description, Go, go beyond that. So, the idea of intrapreneurship is, um, you know, it's similar to entrepreneurship. You know, on, more people are familiar with entrepreneurship, and that's coming up with ideas or different new ways of doing things um, and building your own business around it. Well, intrapreneurship is similar in that you're coming up with new, more effective ways of doing things um, or in innovative ways to, to get things done. But keep those ideas within your current company. And um, so I'll give you an example. Um, and, and this is just a small example. When I was uh, way back in the day when I was teaching English, um, I was, I was teaching English to kids um, and, you know, I just, I, what I could see was uh, a lot of the materials that we were using were boring um, and most of the, the books were just readily available to any other um, English language teaching school, um, you know, or Aikawa school. So there was no real advantage of, of learning English uh, from me at at my um, at my school, uh, you know, other than you know a teaching method uh, which I might be able to introduce if it was any different from from others available. But um, what I um, what I saw was an opportunity to create some new content. So I started um, making little flashcard stories. Um, I, I um, 
invented a character named Tony Takoyaki, and um, and I, I made a series of stories um, which were in line with the same curriculum um, that we were told to teach. They used the same vocabulary, but they just introduced a new fun way. And it was sort of a cartoon, um, cartoon character, an animated character uh, that would have these uh, adventures and, and I would just use Tony Takoyaki to introduce new things. Now, um, I didn't just go off and, and start using this without permission. Um, you know, you, you have to choose, choose the timing you want to do it. Um, make sure that you create these things outside of office work hours. Um, so, you know, it, there can never be a complaint uh, about you spending your office hours working on um, rogue sort of projects. And um, present it in a way that your boss um, feels that, you know, it, it, it's partially his or her idea, you know, and, and give, give him the credit for inspiring you to do such a thing and make sure that, um, you know, you, you sort of, you're thanking them for inspiring you and, and you're saying, would it be all right, um, you know, if, if you, you know, if you presented it to the other teachers as something that the school might like to use. Um, and um, so, so, you know, in doing so, uh, what you are potentially doing is showing your boss that you're more than just an English teacher. Plus, um, you're also showing that, um, you know, you, you're really thinking of the company and, and that's what will make, what, that's what should make it okay to your boss, that you're, um, you're trying to make your company succeed over the competition. And um, just with that example, I was actually uh, soon promoted to a teacher training position. Um, so I, I ended up um, training new teachers and, and current teachers, um, you know, and, and developing a training sort of program, um, which, which was really cool. Um, and, and I didn't have to go out and change industry. Um, I was still uh, within the Akaya world, but I wasn't an English teacher. So think about it. Um, accelerate your career. Um, be innovative, but you, you, can still, um, you can still stay in the English teaching industry, but not be an English teacher. That's it for today. Red Eye Gaijin. See ya.